So this class is on creating self-care rituals, specifically using essential oils and doTERRA products. And I'm really excited to talk about this topic because it's something that I wholeheartedly believe in. Um, I really believe that the foundation of our health is taking care of ourselves as holistic beings. Um, so taking care of ourselves physically, um, but not limiting it just to that. Also taking care of ourselves emotionally, spiritually, mentally, um, all areas of our health are things that we have to look at. And the way that we can best do that for ourselves is really by creating, um, creating rituals in our lives that we can consistently come back to. Um, things that are just integrated into who we are that we don't necessarily have to take major time out of our day to do, um, but just get integrated into our routine so that we're always caring for ourselves, creating those rituals and rhythms in our daily lives um, so that we don't go months and realize we haven't done anything for ourselves. And now we're feeling burned out and now we don't have energy. Um, so this is definitely something that I feel passionate about and want to help others to explore in their own lives and to make part of their routine. So what I want to start out with here is just let's take a minute to kind of center in um, and I'm going to ask you a couple questions and you can feel free to jot down answers to these um, or if you would like to share I'd love to have you leave a comment so there's a, a comment bar over on this side um, and you're welcome to share your answers with the group there as well we can make this kind of a discussion um, and something that I always like to, to just put out there at the beginning of these classes is I really want this to help you and so I would love for it to be as interactive as you would like to make it so if you have any questions that you think of um, related topics that you want to talk about, please pop them in that comment bar. And um, if it's not specifically addressed in the course of the class, then we can definitely do a little Q&A at the end with anything that you've left there throughout as well. So I want to start with these couple questions. And like I said, answer them just for yourself or share if you'd like to. So the first thing is I want to know, what do you think of when you think self-care? So what do you think of? Because this is kind of a buzzword that's being thrown around. And then the second thing is, what are things that you do as self-care or things that you do for yourself? So what are some things that maybe you do as self-care? Okay. So once you have those written down, let's just keep those in mind as we start talking about self-care and what it is. So I want to talk about what is self-care because like I just said, self-care has become a really trendy phrase. Yeah. So Alicia, thanks for sharing. So Alicia says she thinks of self-care as something that's going to help her recharge. Um, and definitely, I think that that is for sure one definition of self-care in a way that we often talk about it. So something that helps her recharge. Um, yeah, that's a great, a great response. Um, yeah, so self-care has become this really kind of trendy phrase. All you have to do is spend five minutes on Instagram and you can probably find several posts that refer to something self-care oriented. So self-care has become this really trendy phrase. Um, and yeah, yeah, Carmen is saying that she doesn't really know what she does for herself. And I think that's so common for so many of us. And that's why it's becoming such a big topic, because we're starting to realize, a lot of people are starting to realize in order to live our best lives, in order to be our healthiest, we need to care for ourselves. Um, we can't care for others if we're not at our optimal level, if we're not at our best. And that's really why this topic is so important. I think so many people feel that way. So when we talk about self-care, often what we refer to, and again, those Instagram posts, if you see them, this is often what they're talking about, is something that relaxes us or makes us feel good. You know, so people will say, oh, I did self-care today, I took a bubble bath, or like, self-care for the day, I'm going for a manicure. Um, and there's nothing wrong with those things. Those are great, and they can definitely be self-care. But many of us talk about self-care in the sense of pampering ourselves. It's taking time out of our um, regular schedule, maybe every couple weeks, maybe every few months to do something out of the ordinary that we wouldn't usually do. And that pampers us. And the reason really that this is the way that we talk about it is because our lives are, they're busy and they're hectic. Um, 
and we don't have a lot of time for ourselves. And so even those of us who regularly take time for this kind of self-care, for the manicures, for the bubble baths, for the face masks, often get stuck in this self-care cycle. So what happens is we're really stressed, we have a lot going on, we realize we need to do something for ourselves, so we pause and we do something for ourselves. Maybe we set an evening out of our week to do an at-home spa treatment, um, we go get our nails done, we do something really nice for ourselves. Um, and But what happens is, okay, so let's say you set aside an evening, you do a face mask because you love doing that, which I do love doing that. Um, and then we have this really relaxing evening. We go to sleep, get up in the morning, go to work, and we're just as stressed out as before we started. Now our, our daily stress kicks in from our daily routine. Um, maybe it lasts, maybe that kind of zen feeling that we felt through our previous evening lasts into the morning, but it doesn't necessarily continue even the rest of the day or the rest of the week. So for the short amount of time, we've done something that isn't having, that, that's, for us, but maybe isn't having a lasting effect. And then we get caught in this cycle where now our stress is ramping up again. Now we need to take another evening or afternoon or whatever for ourselves. Um, and then the stress cycle starts again. So maybe you relate to this. Maybe this sounds like you, right? Um, or maybe it doesn't because maybe you don't even take the time for that one evening or that one afternoon of what you need to do for yourself. So, what happens is that we're in kind of this constant state of overwhelm that's only interrupted intermittently. And I think this is why we need to dig down to a deeper level um, and really talk about what we're doing to create lasting self-care. Um, and this goes beyond just pampering ourselves. So true self-care has to go beyond just talking about rest and stress management. It has to talk about more areas of our health than that. Um, and it has to be preemptive, not reactive. So oftentimes our self-care is reactive to the stress that we're already experiencing. And that's why it's not lasting because we're not preempting the sense of overwhelm that we feel. Um, and in the culture that we live in, we've, we've gotten this very like dualistic idea in our minds that there's self-care and there's health care and that they're two completely different things. So self-care is doing something nice for ourselves and health care is something that we have to go to a professional for. Um, and I think we need to start merging these ideas to come to understand that we can take care of many aspects of our health ourselves and that when we do, when we start thinking of ourselves as a whole person and taking care of that person, it's really the most caring and loving thing that we could possibly do for ourselves. So something that I really like to use um, to, to kind of wrap my mind around this and um, and and think about this idea in my own life um, is to use doTERRA's health pyramid, which can be found in their live guide. So if you go to doTERRA's website, you can find a digital copy of this live guide. You can just type live guide into the search bar and it'll come up. And the very first page of this shows doTERRA's health pyramid, which we often refer to. And I know you can't see this tiny print, but I'm going to kind of break this down in our conversation. So what this is showing is that the foundation of our health is eating right. After that, we have exercise, just moving our bodies. And after that, we have rest management and stress. And oftentimes we start the conversation on health care on this or on self care on this third level. But the thing is, this is why we end up in this constant cycle, because we haven't set a foundation to have that have a lasting impact on us. Um, and so I think when we talk about self-care, what we really need to talk about is what creates a lasting sense of fulfillment, happiness, and peace in our lives. It's not just something that makes us feel good in the moment and then the cycle starts over. So we have to look into things that have the ability to do this for us. How do we create this lasting sense? And this is where I want to dive a little bit into the science of self-care. Um, and I kind of nerd out on these things. So bear with me and I will make this as simple as possible. Um, but the, the foundational piece of this science of self-care is that our health is holistic. So our mental, emotional, spiritual, physical health are so intertwined that any one of those affects all of the rest and we can't separate them. There's no just dealing with your physical health, just dealing with your mental health. They're completely intertwined and nothing can be done in an isolated way in your body. So we see this in instances like the fact that when we work out, we go to the gym, we work out or we go for a run, we're doing that for our physical body, for our physical health. 
but we dramatically notice that it affects our emotions, right? Like a lot of people run as stress management because it affects our emotions, even though it's something that we do for physically with our bodies and for our bodies. Um, we see this kind of in the reverse when we take a medication for a physical ailment, but we see that say depression is a side effect. It's a something we're doing for our physical health, having a mental health and emotional health impact. So our systems are so tight and they're so intertwined, they just cannot be separated from each other. And um, when we talk about self-care, usually what we're talking about um, is the emotional effect that's being that's taking place on our system. But at a physical level, what we're talking about is that when we're really relaxed, we've activated our parasympathetic nervous system. So our parasympathetic nervous system is the system of our body that is activated when we're in a relaxed state. So what we have um, in our nervous system is we have our autonomic nervous system, which is the system of our, or the part of our nervous system that works automatically. We don't have to think about it. We don't have to think about our body pumping our blood. We don't have to think about breathing all the time. We don't have to think about everything working together. And our autonomic nervous system helps dictate a lot of these things that are happening in our body. And that those automatic responses in our body can be divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. And like I said, that parasympathetic system is activated when we're relaxed. The sympathetic nervous system is activated when we are stressed. Um, so it is a system that exists in case of emergencies, basically when we need a burst of energy or adrenaline, when we're afraid, when we're scared, when we need to run from something, um, our body goes into this mode that we usually refer to as fight or flight. So we have this fight or flight response. And in our current culture, the thing is that the majority of us, probably all of us are overly sympathetic, meaning that that sympathetic nervous system is activated constantly. Um, and so even though it really is supposed to be reserved for emergencies, for cases where we're actually in danger, our body is feeling like we're always in danger because of all the stress that we have on us. And so we're constantly in this fight or flight stress mode. And this happens for so many reasons, but it happens in our, in our current culture because we have demands on our time. We have stress at work. We have kids. We have traffic that we sit in. Um, I would argue that maybe the biggest cause of this, at least one of the biggest causes, is our constant use of technology. So we use technology a lot to relax, um, but the thing is that most devices, um, just the blue light from a screen will actually activate that sympathetic stress response. So we lay down to watch Netflix and think we're just like chilling out, Netflix and chill, right? Or like we're scrolling through Instagram to relax, but we are actually, um, you know, we may, we may relax in some ways, but we're actually still activating that sympathetic system. And so we're getting that just like constant stress and the physical response in our bodies to that is that our bodies are releasing adrenaline, releasing neurotransmitters, keeping us in this heightened stress state until we get to burnout, until we don't have energy anymore. So that is the response of our nervous system to constant stress. Um, something else that plays into this is that our nervous system is really tied in with our endocrine system and our endocrine system is what manages our hormones and our hormones are essentially messengers in our body. Our hormones um, are sent throughout our body to manage so many different systems and functions in our body. Um, they regulate things from our metabolism and our digestion to the quality of our sleep, our level of stress, the mood that we're in. Hormones just have an effect on every possible part of us. And when our endocrine system isn't working properly, our hormones aren't balanced. So we have symptoms that we associate with hormone imbalance that most of us know about. Like let's say you have really bad menstrual cramps or other PMS symptoms or infertility. All of those are pretty obviously connected to our hormones. But a lot of us don't think about our hormones or our endocrine system tying in with things like digestive issues a lack of energy, anxiety, depression, other mental disorders. So many of these studies are starting to find more and more um, evidence on this and how it actually happens, but so many of these things are dictated by our hormone levels. And our hormone levels are supported by the food we eat, by exercise, um, by managing our stress. So all of these kind of levels from the bottom up help our nervous system and our hormone system because again, our body is so intertwined, but we often think of it separately and don't, um, 
you know, don't do those things that we could be doing to support our systems. So what this really means for all of us is that the highest form of self-care is dealing with things at the root. It's not waiting until we're so stressed out or burnt out um, and then, you know, going and taking a bubble bath. It's eating well, it's taking the supplements that we need, it's moving our bodies, it's using essential oils to support our systems so that our body has all the nutrients and the tools that it needs to keep us from getting to that place of total anxiety or stress or overwhelm in the first place. So not even getting into that cycle and then pausing it, um, just not getting into it in the first place. Um, and the way that we do that is you know by these by these levels of self care by eating well by exercising our bodies um, by sleeping well by doing things that we can to support our stress response by reducing our toxic load um, and by informed self care and so we're going to talk about each of these levels here as we go but the next thing that I want to touch on is how do essential oils affect all of this right because this is like a lot of information. Um, and a lot of things about how your body works, but how do self-care or how do essential oils figure into this process? So oils have this incredible ability to act positively on the body because they have a complete plant chemistry. And what this means is they're not an isolated molecule um, that has one specific effect. Um, they are designed to work in tandem with the holistic nature of the body. So as we talked about earlier, the body is holistic. Nothing about you happens in isolation. It's the language that the body speaks. And it's also the language that essential oils speak, which is why they work synergistically with your body. And that's really cool. So the primary goal of our body is when we get, when things are out of balance, when hormones are out of balance, when we have stress is to try to bring us back to equilibrium, right? Like our body is always trying to do that. Um, and that's the goal of essential oils too. They work with your body to try to bring your body back into homeostasis. So um, that is one reason why they can be so effective in supporting this, um, this goal of getting ourselves to a place where we feel happiness and peace and where we're not stressed out all the time. So I just want to touch on a couple things about oils here um, and why they have such a big impact. The first thing that I want to talk about is oil potency. So oils are incredibly potent. And what this means is that they're strong. It means that it takes a small amount, one to two drops of an oil often, to have a major effect on the systems of your body. And because of this potency, they work quickly. So when you take an oil internally or put an oil on your skin, um, it is found in your bloodstream within 22 seconds. Um, and it is found in your cells within a couple of minutes and within your brain within 20 minutes. Um, so these oils are really making their way around your body and because they can go into your cells, they can go into the parts of your body, they're affecting every system of your body, um, which is pretty amazing that they are, you know, nature has designed us in this way to work with other nature, to work with these oils from plants so that they can benefit every system of our body. So they're incredibly potent. Um, and then they are also very complex. So every oil has multiple constituents, sometimes hundreds of constituents, and the constituents are essentially the ingredients that make up the oil. They're these chemical parts of the oil. And every constituent might have a different benefit on its own. And this is why one oil could be used for, you know, calming your skin or, or like soothing your skin, making your skin tone even. But let's say also be used for calming your nervous system or for digestion because it has all these constituents that might do different things. So the complexity of oils is also something that it's really important to consider when we use them. Um, and I just want to make one little caveat here to talk about purity really quickly. Um, so when I'm talking about essential oils, what I'm referring to is doTERRA essential oils. And if you have heard me talk much or if you know much about doTERRA, you kind of know that there is doTERRA and then there's essential oils. And these are almost two totally different things. They're, it's not even comparing apples to apples because doTERRA is the largest and the purest essential oil company in the world. Um, and so when I'm saying an essential oil does this and essential oil does that, I'm specifically referring to doTERRA. Because as soon as you take out that purity element, the essential oil may not do these things that we're talking about. Um, and that is just the way that they work chemically and scientifically. 
it has to be this pure plant component. It has to be a complete plant chemistry to have this effect on our body, um, to have these positive effects on our body with no negative side effects. So doTERRA is so pure. It's the reason that they exist. There's no other essential oil company that sources like doTERRA does and tests like doTERRA does. So they source their oils from all over the world in the country that the plants are native to. They're beyond organic standards. Um, they use no pesticides, no chemicals in the growing of the plants. So there's nothing that they could possibly be contaminated with. They have very rigorous processes um, for harvesting and things like that. And then they also test more than any other essential oil company um, does, and it, they're transparent about those tests. So doTERRA does something like, uh, it's 40 something, I can't remember the exact number, and um, if anyone on here knows, feel free to chime in, but they do like 40 something tests in-house on each batch of oils, and then 11 third-party tests out of house. Um, so they're not only testing on their own, and then they release the results of testing on each batch um, to the public. So when you have a bottle of doTERRA essential oil, you flip it over and on the bottom, um, here, let me grab a bottle. I can show you. Um, so on every bottle of oil, on the bottom of that bottle, there's going to be a little number and you can go to the website that is source to you.com source to you.com type in that number and you can see the testing for that batch of oil. So that is how important purity is to doTERRA um, and why when I say essential oils and I'm referring to doTERRA, I don't mean just any bottle of oil that you buy off a shelf or really oil that you buy from any other company because the quality has to be there to get these benefits. Um, and that is why doTERRA is changing the healthcare industry. I could go on and on about this. It's so important, um, but I really just wanted to make this side note on purity so you understand what I'm talking about and why the oils can do these things. So moving on from that, um, but tied into that, when we use these really pure oils that have a complete plant chemistry and they're not an isolated molecule, this is what makes them so effective. They can get into your cells, they can make a difference in every system of your body, including the nervous and endocrine systems that we discussed. Um, and because of this, oils are not just a nice smelling product like a candle that helps you relax, they're actually a vital part of your health and of your self-care. Even if you do everything else correctly, if you eat really you know, organic foods and you eat well, um, you exercise regularly, you manage your stress, you do deep breathing, you, you know, do these things to help yourself, you will only boost your health and energy, you will only increase your body's level to be healthy by adding oils to your routine. Um, so we are nature, we're made to work in tandem with these incredible gifts that nature gives us from plants. We're made to work synergistically and we speak this similar language of holistic health. So yeah, super cool. Um, so something that I want to, we're going to kind of narrow down to today in the time that we have left is how can we use specific products to do this, right? Like we've talked about all this information of um, affecting our systems and taking care of ourselves at the root, at the core of who we are, um, eating well, moving our bodies, taking care of stress, but let's talk about how some specific oils and products fit into this and can support this for us so that we can create these daily habits that we do every day and care for ourselves for more energy, better sleep, um, and all of the things that we want in our lives to thrive. So what I want to talk about today is doTERRA's Healthy Habits Kit. Um, so it's also sometimes called the Daily Habits Kit. If you're already a member of doTERRA, um, you would go order the Daily Habits Kit. If you're not a member of doTERRA, you would order the Healthy Habits Kit. Um, and that is because the Healthy Habits Kit comes with your membership, um, but they each have the same products in them. And I will touch on that again at the end. Um, but just so you know, if I use those terms, Daily Habits Kit, Healthy Habits Kit, they are interchangeable. They are the same products. Um, so this kit is specifically designed to support these systems of the body that we've been discussing and to support your health at the root. Because when we do that, we have more energy, we have better sleep, we have less stress to manage in the first place, and we're going to become a healthy, energetic, thriving version of ourselves through this care that we give ourselves. So I want to talk through, ah, dropping things. Um, I want to talk through this wellness period uh, pyramid that I referred to before. So like I said, the foundation of our health is eating right. 
And what this means is that we're eating well, um, but it also means because of the way that our food sources are today, the chemicals that find their ways into our food, the genetically modified products that are on the market, um, that we really have a need for supplementation as well. Um, and as much as I wish is, that wasn't true, as much as I wish we could just get everything that we need from plants, our current model of agriculture doesn't really allow for that and most of us need some kind of supplements. Um, so everything that we put into our bodies is assimilated through our digestive system. So this is a really great place to talk about our digestive system and the fact that we need it to work optimally. So when our digestive system works optimally, it then goes and affects those other systems that we talked about, such as the endocrine system and the nervous system, by giving us all the nutrients that we need to support all of the functions of our body. So um, in the Healthy Habits Kit, the... Um, the first part of this is some supplements that are in there. So the first thing is that the lifelong vitality supplements come in this kit. So this is three supplements, the Z-Omegas, Alpha CRS, and Microplex um, VMZ supplements. And these are all a complete uh, supplement regimen, I guess I'd say, um, to support these systems of your body, right? So we have the Z omegas, which are your omega sixes, omega threes, um, alpha CRS for cellular health, and your microplex um, supplements, which are whole food nutrients and vitamins. And one thing that I want to say about these is they are very pure, um, just like everything in DoTerra, as we already discussed. Um, they're really pure supplements, and it's very difficult to find pure supplements without a lot of fillers out there these days. Um, my husband, Eddie, and I both take these regularly, and he swears by them because he has a degenerating disc in his back, and when he takes these, he has his pain um, really mostly goes away. Um, there are some other things he has to do, of course, like eating well and things like that, but these have made a really big difference in our lives. They make a difference in my energy, the way that I function during the day, my stress levels, as we were talking about. So those are really incredible. Um, and those are three supplements that you take daily. The other two supplements in this kit are the Terrazyme Digestive Enzymes and PB Assist Probiotics. So the Terrazyme Enzymes are um, digestive enzymes that help you break down and assimilate nutrients in your body. Um, so I like to take these um, sometimes just one in the morning, sometimes before I eat, depending on what I'm really feeling like I need to kind of help clear things out. Um, and then also to help my, my gut, my digestive system to absorb the nutrients that I need to then go affect all of those other systems. Um, and then the PB Assist is a probiotic. Um, probiotics you've probably heard of because they are all over the place these days. Um, doTERRA makes a really cool one when you see these. They're um, they look like something from the future. They're double encapsulated. Um, and so what that means is it's like one capsule in another. And a lot of probiotics, your stomach acid will just kill the bacteria in them and they never even make it into the rest of your digestive tract. With these, they make it through your stomach because of that double encapsulation. So it's some really cool technology that's being used. Probiotics are really important because so much of our immune function, our neurotransmitter creation um, happens in our gut. And so when things in our gut get out of balance, we can create actually a lot of mental health issues. And this is something that's being highly studied right now and that we did not use to think in this genetic model of health that we, um, that we you know, thought was the way for a long time. Um, this is something that I'm not going to dive super deeply into tonight, but digestive health equals mental health. Um, it just does. Um, less than 1% of people are born with a genetic disease or illness. Um, most, 99% of disease and illness is caused by lifestyle and environment. And so we really have to think about our lifestyle. Um, and that goes for, you know, for mental health, for emotional things as well. When our digestive system is working well, we feel so much better with our mental health, our energy, et cetera. Um, so probiotics are such an important part of this self-care discussion. Um, and then the next part of this. So those are the LLV, those three supplements, and the Terrazyme and the PB Assist are the five supplements that come in this 
daily or healthy habits kit. The next part of this health pyramid that I want to talk about is exercise. Um, it is so important that we move our bodies every day, whether that is a walk around the block or going to a gym um, or doing yoga or however it is that you like to care for yourself physically. Um, it's just important that we do it. There's so much that gets released from our body. When we sweat, we release toxins. It just helps so many different things, including our hormone levels. So the part of this kit that's really focused on um, supporting us in our exercise is deep blue lotion. So deep blue lotion is incredible. If you've ever used it, you know. Um, it is a lotion that has deep blue oil in it and deep blue oil is our oil for muscle soreness and tension um, it is like a non-toxic icy hot it will make your muscles feel incredible i just did an instagram story on this earlier today because i put it on when i left the gym and i love the like tingly sensation that it gives me uh it feels just amazing um and it really helps because it's oils and not just um not something that's not a complete plant chemistry. It actually penetrates into your muscles and helps heal. It doesn't just give you that tingly feeling on the surface, it dives deeper than that. So it's pretty incredible. So the next level that we get to is rest and, there we go, rest and stress management. And like I mentioned earlier, this is often where we start the discussion about self-care and we really have to look at those two levels before this. Um, but rest and stress management, there are a couple parts of this kit, two oils in this kit that are geared towards um, rest and stress management. And as we talk about these pure oils, something that I wanna touch on really briefly is that there's three ways to use essential oils. Um, and again, when I say essential oils, I mean doTERRA essential oils, because we can use them aromatically, which means breathing them in or diffusing them um, topically, so putting them on our skin, or internally. Um, and again, the reason that I wanna point that out, that I'm talking about doTERRA essential oils here, is in order to take an oil internally, you have to have the purity that doTERRA has. And in fact, most other companies will say right on their bottle to not intake them, not to take them internally. Um, but because doTERRAs are 100% plant material with absolutely no additives and no contamination, um, we can take them internally. So that is um, just something I want to point out is that there are three ways to take to use oils. And when it comes to rest and stress management, there are two oils in this kit, lavender oil and balance, that are both um, for our rest and stress management. And so both of these oils are for slightly different things. So here we go. Um, so our lavender oil is really an oil that I like to use for um, a lot of different things, but I would say in terms of rest and stress management, this is going to help with sleep and it's going to help with anxiety. It actually will have a calming effect on your nervous system. Lavender is your all around calming oil. So this is an oil that I would use every single day, particularly if you're prone to stress and anxiety. It's something that you could diffuse. You could diffuse at night for your sleep so that you get better rest. Um, I would keep it with me and breathe it in if I feel that I um, need it, especially if you're drawn to this scent. It might mean that it's one that your body really needs because our bodies are incredibly intuitive that way. So lavender, I would mostly use um, for sleep because that's how I prefer to use it. I put it in my diffuser at night or maybe a drop on my pillow, something like that. The other oil is balance. Balance is one of my favorite oils of all time. If you are on my team or you've ever heard me talk about oils, you're probably sick of hearing me talk about this one. Balance is so incredible and it's the oil that got me started with oils. So a story that again, you may have heard if you've ever attended a class of mine is that this was the first oil that I used because I was just in a, in a part of my life, in a stage of life, where I was extremely stressed. Um, I was dealing with a lot of health issues and I didn't yet understand the root of them, that the root of a lot of them had to do with my gut. Um, but I was having depression and anxiety, which was tied into my digestion, tied into my hormones, because again, all these things work together. And I had started having panic attacks and they were mostly happening when I was at work because work was one of the things that really stressed me out. And so I would sit in my office um, when I felt myself getting really worked up or felt a panic attack coming on and I would open my bottle of balance and I would just sit there and breathe it in aromatically. I wouldn't even need to put it on myself to start noticing an immediate impact. And again, that is how potent these oils are. And what I discovered was that when I started breathing in this oil, um, 
I could actually head off a panic attack. I could stop it from happening in the first place. And that was because using this oil that affects your nervous system, I could engage that parasympathetic response, that calming response with balance, just by using it aromatically. Um, you could do the same thing by using it topically on your skin, which you'll also get the scent from that, of course. Um, so balance is such an incredible one. That is my go-to for managing stress and anxiety and for when I just need to feel really balanced and grounded. So the next stage of our pyramid here is reducing toxic load. And this is a, this is a big topic, um, but I do want to touch on this because we have to make sure that all of our systems are working optimally um, in order to do what we're talking about, in order to not get into this stress spiral. So our bodies are designed, um, yeah, so just touching on balance really quick, Cartman says that she was feeling a lot of anxiety this week and that balance helped her. It's an incredible oil. I, yeah, I personally absolutely love that one. I use it regularly still. Um, so, okay, so yeah, going back to toxic load, um, our bodies are designed to take care of toxins. They're designed through our liver and our kidneys to move them out of our body, but we live in such a toxic world that we're often overloaded. So there are sources of toxins that we may not really be able to affect our exposure to, such as in the air that we breathe, but we can affect so many toxins that we put into our body. And the thing, especially as women, um, which many people on here are women, I know, um, we use a lot of um, self-care, beauty care products, right? Like we use a lot of hair things and skin things and probably more than most men use. And there have been studies done that show that women put, I, I can't remember the number, but it's an insane amount of toxins on our bodies on average. Um, and our skin is our largest organ. It absorbs everything that we put on ourselves. Um, and many of these things, many of these um, hair care and skincare products that we put on ourselves are endocrine disruptors, meaning that they're so toxic that they can interrupt our hormone pathways and imbalance our hormones. Um, so it's really, really important that we use as many non-toxic products and control our toxic load as much as possible. And we can do this by switching to personal care products cleaning products, et cetera, that don't have toxins, and doTERRA has some great options for those. Um, but we can also assist our bodies in gently detoxing them from anything that we have come into contact with, ingested, put on our skin, breathed in, and that's what I wanna touch on in this kit. So in the Healthy Habits Kit, we have lemon oil. Lemon oil is your all-around cleansing oil. Lemon is going to be for cleansing. And lemon is an oil that I use every single day because I put this in my water and I drink it. Um, lemon can also be used aromatically, topically, or ingested. I would say we mostly use it aromatically, breathing it in or ingesting it, because it is one that when we put it on our skin um, can have some sensitivity, especially in the sun. We call it being photosensitive. So if you put this on and then you plan on going out into the sun, um, it's possible that it can irritate your skin. So we want to be really careful about that. Um, and that is why primarily with lemon, we'll either breathe it in or take it internally. But this is cleansing. So lemon, every single day I fill up a big pitcher of water and I put a couple drops of lemon in it and then I drink that throughout the day. And this is going to help us to support our bodies and reduce our toxic load so that there are not those things in us that are disrupting our, horm our hormone system, our endocrine system, um, and causing us more stress than we need because then our, our mood, our hormones, our mental health, all of these things can get totally out of balance. So the next level of the wellness pyramid is informed self-care. And what I want to say here is that when we, when we talk about self-care in this sense as the fifth level of the health pyramid, we've arrived at a place where the reason we're referring to this as self-care instead of all of it as self-care in terms of the pyramid is that we've now arrived at a place where if we're eating right, if we're exercising, if we're managing our stress, if we're reducing our toxic load, now we're at a place in our lives where we should have a manageable amount of toxic exposure, no major imbalances if we're on top of all of those levels. And so when that happens, when we're on top of all of that and we get to this place of informed self-care, now we can do those things that are mostly just kind of externally caring for ourselves, maybe pampering ourselves, maybe thinking more about our immune health or our exposure to external things um, without getting ourselves into that spiral where it's not really helping us take care of our stress. When we eat right, we exercise, we manage our stress, we reduce our toxic load. Now we've gotten to a 
point where we can see more lasting effects from, from these kind of external things that we do for ourselves. So many people start the discussion here at a higher level. You know, they start the self-care discussion either at managing stress or at this level of informed self-care, and they wonder why they're not getting lasting results. And it's because we have to set that foundation first. So the two oils in this kit that are really aimed at in this level of informed self-care are On Guard, which is our protective blend. So it's immune supporting and it will help, um, it will help support the body's natural antioxidant defenses um, and protect against environmental threats. So this is one that I use all year long, but especially through cold and flu season. And this is one that's just going to help us protect ourselves, right? It's going to help us not, um, or to like get rid of anything that we come into contact with or to not, our bodies to not react to it in the first place when we come into contact with people that are sick or anything like that. It's boosting our immune response so that we don't have that added stress of illness, of being worn down, of all of those things. Um, and the second oil here is frankincense. So frankincense is like, sometimes people call it the king of oils. It's good for so many things. It's such an incredible oil. Um, I can't even talk about all of its benefits in this class because they are so numerous. Um, but a couple that I want to touch on that really have to do with this topic are that it promotes cellular health, it supports our immune function, it supports our digestive function, it supports our nervous system. So now we're not just talking about how to heal from things that maybe have already happened or that we're already dealing with, we're also talking about how to boost our overall wellness so that we're thriving, um, so that we're really living our best lives and caring for ourselves in the best way possible, not just bring ourselves to, you know, to kind of this level ground, but rising even above that and thriving in our lives. And frankincense is incredible for that. So because it calms the nervous system, I love to use frankincense um, during like meditation time when I'm doing deep breathing. It's really going to get to kind of this um, place of self-care where we are tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system, super calming ourselves down and chilling out. Um, and then with those added benefits of cellular health and digestive function and all those other things that help our bodies to work so, um, so synchronistically. Um, and frankincense is one I just want to say that can be used topically, aromatically, or internally. I love mixing it with a, um, like a citrus oil in my diffuser. Um, I like to put it on the bottoms of my feet or on my neck or on my wrists, just especially when I feel like I need to just calm down. Um, when I get worked up or I feel anxiety coming on, perfect for that. It is also one to take internally, particularly for those cellular benefits. It's going to get into your cells and really boost your health there. So you're going to be talking about just more overall energy, more ability to thrive, more ability to live your life in the best way possible. So those are the things that come in this kit. It's really just a great kit that's geared towards exactly what we're talking about. How do we, how do we take care of ourselves? How do we have self-care at the, this root level, at the core of who we are? Um, so true self-care, we need to constantly remember it's more than lighting a candle and taking a bubble bath, right? It means that we are supporting ourselves at this foundational level and also that we're focusing on the purity of what we're putting in, on, and around our bodies. We don't want to be undercutting our health when we're trying to support it. So if we set daily habits that incorporate all of these products, if we take our supplements daily, if we move our body and use our, you know, our deep blue oil so that we can keep moving our body and aren't too um, you know, sore to do so, uh, if we use these oils to support our nervous health, to support our immune function, we do all these things. I promise that you're going to notice such a difference in your anxiety levels, your stress, your energy, your sleep, the list goes on. Um, it's good for so many different things. Um, and you will notice a difference when you use these consistently. So as we conclude here, I just want to point you in a couple different directions. Um, if you are already a do doTERRA member, a member of the Cozy Greenhouse team, and you want to get started with the Daily Habits Kit, you're just going to go into your account, search for Daily Habits, add it to your cart, and added bonus, right now until the end of May, this kit is 20% off. Um, so that is an incredible deal, 20% off of these products that we just talked about. Um, you definitely want to go do that before the end of the month if you want to grab this, because after that, the price will go back up, and it's just such a great deal right now. 
If you are not a doTERRA member, your process is going to be a little bit different. Um, so if you haven't joined yet, you're going to go to my.doterra.com slash Alex Cortez, my name. Um, so A-L-I-X-C-O-R-T-E-Z. Again, my.doterra.com slash Alex Cortez. You're going to click become a member that's in the upper right hand corner. Add the Healthy Habits Kit, that's what it's going to be called for you, the Healthy Habits Kit to your cart. Your membership fee is going to be waived because you're purchasing this kit. And then you're going to get a membership to doTERRA and to the Cozy Greenhouse team. And the benefits that come with this are so awesome because it means that you're going to get 25% off of everything else that you order from doTERRA for the rest of the year, um, which is a great benefit in and of itself. Um, you also have the option to join the loyalty rewards program and what loyalty rewards means is essentially more free product. Um, and if you join the team, uh, I will definitely give you more information on that. Um, but basically it means that you can have the option to get free products every month, the free product of the month, and also to add up points towards free product um, with every order that you place. So that's a really incredible way to make these products even more affordable. Although if you've heard any of my other classes, you maybe have heard me go on my spiel about how affordable these are compared to a lot of healthcare already. Um, but this is, these are just ways that are making them even more affordable. And once you purchase this kit and you've joined, you'll have access um, to me and to our team, all of the collective wisdom on our team um, for personal coaching, for questions that you have. You'll have access to our private team Facebook group, um, all kinds of great things that come with that. Just a great community too, a really great community that's going to go along with it of people that also care about boosting their health informed self-care and thriving. Um, so if this is something that is for you, I can promise you, you will not regret it. Um, if you use oils regularly, if you really incorporate them into our lives, you're going to notice those benefits and you're, you will not regret using them. Um, oils have changed my life. They've changed the lives of so many people that I know and have the honor of working with. Um, for a long time in my life, like for years, I was focused on eating well, on taking supplements, on managing my emotional health, and all these different things. Um, and oils were the missing piece for me. They were the key that really helped bring it all together and put me even more into a place of thriving, um, really first into a place of more healing, and then into a place where I could really thrive. Um, and I know that they can do the same thing for you. So if you have any questions, please contact me. My email address is cozygreenhouse at gmail.com. I would love to hear any of your questions. If you have questions this evening, feel free to pop them into the comment bar. I can hang around for a few minutes and answer any questions that you might have if you have any based on tonight. But really, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time to attend this class and to talk about self-care. I love this conversation. Like I said at the beginning, this is such an important topic to me. And I love sharing this with you and discussing it. Thank you for taking the time and for being here. Um, and again, if you need to get in touch with me, my email address is cozygreenhouse at gmail.com. I hope to chat with you. If you are thinking about getting this kit or joining the Cozy Greenhouse team and you need help being walked through that, please feel free to message me or just with any questions about this topic or oils in general. But thank you all so much for being here tonight. I have so enjoyed this. And yeah, I really appreciate, really appreciate all of you. And I hope that you have a great evening. I don't see any questions popping up, so we're going to wrap this up. But again, feel free to message me or email me with anything that you think of or that's more of a private or personal question. Hope you have a great evening. Bye.